boys and girls, and welcome to a new episode of Fun with English, Grade 4, Book 4A. I am Sakina Kenkuni. Today, I'll present Episode 5 from Unit 3, Animal Kingdom. We will focus on punctuation and writing composition. Let's go back to your previous homework. You had the homework on your workbook, page 51. Complete the sentences. Look at the pictures, read and complete. Let's check your answers. Number 1. John is younger than Mark. John is younger than Mark. Number two, Oliver is older than Mark. Oliver is older than Mark. And number three, John is the youngest. John is the youngest. Great job, boys and girls. Now let's move on to writing. Before we start writing, I want to remind you about the punctuation rules. Remember to use full stop at the end of each sentence. Use a question mark if you have a question. And don't forget to capitalize the beginning of sentences, beginning of questions, names of people, places, days of the weeks, and months. Let's punctuate together and practice. Punctuate the following sentences. Number one, butterflies are beautiful. Listen carefully. Butterflies are beautiful. What do you think? Take a minute and tell me your answers. That's right. Butterflies are beautiful. It's a sentence. So we capitalize the first letter in the sentence, B, in the word butterfly, and we end the sentence with a full stop because it is a sentence. Let's look at number two. He is going to the garden. He is going to the garden. Listen carefully again and tell me your answers. He is going to the garden. That's right, boys and girls. It's a sentence. So we start a sentence with a capital letter. In this case, I will capitalize the H in the word he. And I will end my sentence with a full stop. What about number three? Listen carefully. How many legs does the bee have? How many legs does the bee have? That's right. It's a question. So I will start my question with a capital letter. So I'll capitalize the letter H in the word how. And I will end my question with a question mark. Great job, boys and girls. That's all with the punctuation. Let's move on to the writing rubrics. Remember, we use the rubrics to check your answers, so don't forget to use them correctly. Graphic organizer. Answer the given guiding questions using phrases, not words or vocabulary. Answer the given guiding questions using phrases. Number two, the paragraph in the writing rubric. Use the phrases to write complete sentences in your paragraph. State the main idea, organize your ideas, add supporting details, and make your last sentence a conclusion. Again, boys and girls, use the phrases to write complete sentences in your paragraph. State the main idea, organize your ideas, and add supporting details, and at last, make your last sentence a conclusion. These rubrics we follow as teachers to check your answers and grade your writing composition. Pre-writing techniques, that means the graphic organizer. Make sure to use the graphic organizer to help you write your paragraph and organize your ideas. Number two, exploration of ideas and sentences. Make sure of number of sentences you have asked to write your paragraph with. Layout or format. If you are asked to write an email, make sure you are using the correct layout or format. And if you are asked to write a paragraph, make sure you write it in the correct layout or format. Number four, grammar and spelling. Grammar and spelling. Make sure you're writing with the correct tense and check your spelling when, you're, when you are done with your writing. Number five, handwriting and punctuation mark. Make sure, boys and girls, that you're writing with clean and neat handwriting and check your punctuation correctly. Tips for writing. Number one, Use the correct punctuation marks. Number two, vary your ideas. Number three, write full sentences. And number four, check your spelling. Now let's start writing our paragraph. Fill in the graphic organizer, then use it to write a paragraph about making honey. The following guide words may help you. So we will write a paragraph about making honey. Let's read the guide words together. Bees. Fly, make, dancing, healthy. Bees, fly, make, dancing, and healthy. 
Let's look at the graphic organizer. Let's read the questions together. Again, we will write about making honey. Where does honey come from? How do bees make honey? What is the language of bees? And why should we eat honey? Again, boys and girls, let's read the questions. Where does honey come from? How do bees make honey? What is the language of bees? Why should we eat honey? Let's answer the questions together. Number one, where does honey come from? Remember, boys and girls, to use the guide words to help you with your answers. Let's go through the guide words. Bees, fly, make, dancing, and healthy. So, we will answer, bees make honey. Where does honey come from? Bees make honey. Number two, how do bees make honey? How do bees make honey? Fly from flower to flower. We will answer, fly from flower to flower. We use the word fly from the guide words. Fly from flower to flower. Number three, what is the language of bees? What is the language of bees? Dancing. We use the word dancing from the guide words to answer dancing. Dancing is the language of bees. Number four, why should we eat honey? Why should we eat honey? It's healthy. We use the word healthy from the guide word and we answered it's healthy. Now let's look at the graphic organizer again with the answers. Where does honey come from? Bees make honey. How do bees make honey? Fly from flower to flower. What is the language of bees? Dancing. Dancing is the language of bees. And number four, why should we eat honey? It's healthy. Now let's use our graphic organizer and make sentences to write our paragraph about making honey. Before starting your paragraph, remember boys and girls to write the title first. So our paragraph is about making honey. I will start writing my paragraph by leaving a space at the beginning of the paragraph and starting with capital letter and ending each sentence with a full stop and starting the next sentence with a capital letter. Now let's look at the graphic organizer and the first question. Where does honey come from? We answered bees make honey. Now let's use it in a complete correct sentence. Bees make honey. That's right. All right, boys and girls. Now let's look at question number two. How do bees make honey? How do bees make honey? Again, we'll start with capital letter and end our sentence with a full stop. Let's look at our answer. We answered fly from flower to flower. We will use this answer in a complete and correct sentence. Bees fly from flower to flower, then they fly to the hive. Bees fly from flower to flower, then they fly to the hive. Number three, what is the language of bees? What is the language of bees? We answered dancing. Let's use dancing in a complete and correct sentence. Again, start with capital letter and end with a full stop. The language of bees is dancing. The language of bees is dancing. Number four, why should we eat honey? Why should we eat honey? We answered it's healthy. Now let's use it in a complete and correct sentence. We should eat honey because it is healthy. We should eat honey because it is healthy. Great job, boys and girls. Now let's read the paragraph about making honey. Remember, write the title, leave a space, start each, each sentence with a capital letter, and end it with a full stop, and begin the next sentence with capital letter again. Let's read together. Bees make honey. Bees fly from flower to flower, then they fly to the hive to make honey. The language of bees is dancing. We should eat honey because it's healthy. One more time. Bees make honey. Bees fly from flower to flower, then they fly to the hive to make honey. The language of bees is dancing. We should eat honey because it's healthy. All right, boys and girls, we are done with the writing. You have a homework on your pupil's book, page 44. Look at your pupil's book, 
Use the following questions to write a short paragraph about honey. Let's read the questions together and we'll do the first one. Where does honey come from? How do bees make honey? What is bees language? Why should we eat honey? So I will answer the first one. Where does honey come from? Bees make honey. I'm sure you can do the rest by your own. All right, boys and girls, we've reached to the end of this episode. In this episode, we learned how to use correct punctuation marks and how to write a short paragraph about making honey. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode with me. I'll see you on the next episode. Goodbye for now.